MacBook. MacBook. Early Intel Mac. This is the 2009 MacBook Pro. Yeah. Since this kind of thing can do a lot of things, we can install the best and the latest Mac OS software in here. And we can install Windows, Linux. Yeah, even the latest Windows can be installed here directly. But yeah, a lot of Mac cannot do this. M2 Mac cannot install Windows now with Bootcamp native need about the earliest Mac Intel Mac, we can install the latest software since the 32-bit architecture and this is the most perfect one. Yeah, you can install the latest software and you can do the latest thing with this MacBook after 15 years. So, yeah, let's move on to what we can do. What we will do this in today's video. So, yeah, of course, installing Windows XP in it. Yeah, as we know that. Windows XP is supported to the Mac that is earlier than 2009, yeah. So we can try to install the Windows XP in here, here today, so yeah, let's move on to the video. So as you can see that, yeah, currently we are running in a Mac OS 10.6.8 with a dual core to two, two CPU and an 8GB of RAM. Yeah, we are going to use this machine to run Windows XP 32 bits, not 64 bits, it's just a 32 bits. So, yeah, we will use Bootcam and the disk of Windows XP 3, and I have already burned it in here. Yeah, so let's pop it in. And yeah, I will launch Bootcam here right now. Yeah, um, let's continue. So I have, yeah, and now let's continue, and I will partition half of this for the computer and yeah, partition. So yeah, let's start the installation and our disk is already prepared here, and I will come back after to the after the set of phrases and yeah. So let's wait for the moment to boot into the setup. So, so yeah, you can see that the disk can be boot, and we will wait for it to launch the setup, and I will come back here later on. So we are now back to the computer. So yeah, the setup is boot normally. So yeah, let's do some partition work. Yeah, F eight. So yeah, um, let's delete the. F8032 partition and yeah, and format to NTFS. So, in case the drive may fail, since the F8032 is not supporting a 60, gig, 60 gigs or higher storage, yeah, I tried it before using the F8032 to install the Windows XP in a very high storage and it simply cannot boot because of the file system error. So yeah, let's wait for until the system file being copied properly. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, yes, as you can see that we came back to the computer. You can see that it's not booting to the system, but instead, you can see that Windows cannot start. Hey, yeah, I don't know why. The system file copies just in a normal way, so yeah. Since it said that the HL dot deal is missing or corrupted, so yeah, what we will going to do is to replace the files. So yeah, shut down it. So yeah, now we have reached the setup. So yes, I'll oh, repair and yeah, yeah, enter. So yes, yeah, yeah, and here we have see more drive windows. So let's die. Let's directly go to system 32. So diagonal of the files. No. Yeah, here is the files here. So let's go to the DVD drive. Yes, and copy the HAL dot.
to see more interact. It's no uh, I just want to see the copy out and go to see more the green let's delete the original copy and rename the new copy to the the And yeah, and exit and restart and see how can you fix the problem. So yeah. So yeah, as you can see that it's not fixing the problem at all. Yeah, still the same error. So I mean, yeah, I will just find some solution for us. So I will come back later on. So guys, yeah, I'm back here. Yeah. The, yes, as you can see that it's still on the screen. Yeah, the same problem, the same issue here. So what I have tried, so firstly, I try to modify the bolt and ionize since, yeah, it may sometimes fail because they cannot detect the partition that your windows is stored in it. So I try to modify the bolt ini so in order to let this system file to see what's where to boot and yeah, but still, yeah, still failing, yeah. It will give a kernel error and that I can't boot and even use the system anymore. So yeah, I mean, yeah, and then I think, yes, maybe my disk is just corrupted. Yeah, sometimes burning the disk may have a problem of corruption. So what I did is trying to burn in another disk that is emptied. So I, so to try to install it here in the same computer again and in the second phrases of the setup it still have the same screen, the same error, the same problem at all so I mean, yeah, I think it, there is no solution for this if I try to burn a CD for trying to install the Windows XP in this kind of machine with a custom CD in a MacBook Pro so I mean I'm I'm very sad to say that yeah I have to say that at this time I failed to install Mac OS Windows XP in this MacBook Pro 2009 yeah so that's all for today's video so make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.